Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 256 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. We're going to play some 10 minute today. We're sitting at 1759. We get the black pieces. And we got d4. We go d5. And looks like we're playing the queen's gambit. And they accept there. We take with the queen. Uh, they go there. If I go here, this. Let's just develop the knight. I'm assuming he's going to come out. And I'll just pin him. And then if he does this, we have to take. Obviously. Hmm. Wow. So, I mean, now I, now I have to take no matter what. So, let's take. And he's not really threatening to take. I guess he could take with the knight. Let's take the pawn. He goes there. I think we just developed the knight now. I would like to castle. Protects. Protects the pawn. Let's pin the knight to the queen. He unpins. Logical move. I have this check, but it doesn't really do anything. I think I'm just going to go ahead and castle short here. There's not really any discoveries with this. Thinking maybe we go here. Bring the rook to this file. Line it up with the queen. I don't think there's any sacrifice. Takes. Takes. So I take. He takes. I mean, I guess I don't really have to take. I could just slide back. Let's keep the pressure here. And if he lashes out, then he's just becoming a little bit more unstable. Maybe bring the knight this way. Or plop the knight in the center. Play f5. That's an idea. Yeah, let's, let's plop the knight in the center of the board. And the rook comes, attacking this. So this pawn is a little bit uh, weak-ish, I should say. This would be a huge mistake, because there's this. I don't like that this pawn is not able to be protected right now. I do have queen b3 attacking the bishop, but that doesn't really do anything, does it? No, I don't have queen b3. This would be a huge blunder. Maybe I just rook lift. If I go here, is there any move that I'm seeing? No. Okay, let's go here. Try to bring the rook here. Just really pressure this pawn. What does that set up? Oh, if I go here, this traps the bishop, but Taking really doesn't feel that great, does it? Maybe we just activate this rook. Go here. Protect this. I just want to always have this move. Maybe I go back now and then threaten a discovery attack. That's an idea. So you can never come here with tempo. Take the pawn. Or I could go here. One of the two. I don't have to take that. I can just slide back. If I slide back, then he goes here. So I guess let's take. And now... I like rook to g6. Let's play rook g6. Got a feeling like the knight's going to come here. Okay. Goes there. So this pawn can be taken. What if I just come all the way back? Threaten the pawn. Let's go ahead. Threaten the pawn. This doesn't work because I can just still... Well, actually, wait. If he goes here, I kind of need to take, don't I? Going there doesn't feel really that great, in my opinion. What about going here now and just cementing this in there? He does have this check, but it doesn't really do anything, is the thing. Also opens my rook up. Well, I guess the rook could go there anyways, but... This pawn is potentially weak. So if I were to go like this... No, that doesn't work. Check. Let's see if we can make a little bit more weakness. Let's go here. He's either going to step back or block with the pawn. But blocking with the pawn, I feel like, is not really that great. Because if he goes here with the pawn, I'd probably just sacrifice, takes, and then get in. Yeah, that would lead to checkmate. Wow, really? Takes, takes. Ah, but then the queens see each other. What if I go here? Takes. No, this is still a problem. I'm going to take that. I just think my position's a little bit more dominant here. And then let's go here. No, we can't go there because the rook. Okay, oops. Maybe we come back here then. And I want to get in. I've got a beautiful knight. And a beautiful, yeah, a beautiful knight. And some pressure potentially. Whoa. This guy's creating a lot of weaknesses here. Probably just queen over. Okay, let's come in with the queen. I, I think he's still going to play this, but maybe then we go rook here. Now queen comes in, which is just a fork. We're so down on the clock. How's this guy playing so quick? Oh, no. That's not a fork. Oh, bro. No way. <laughs> Wow. And this is always covered. That's so unfortunate. Of course this happens to me. I need to create room for the king. <sighs> mm, yep. 
Mm, yep. Okay, let's attack. Maybe he blunders the queen here. That'd be funny. Maybe I had that from the... B no, I didn't because the queen didn't protect. My queen's like almost stuck. I actually can't believe it. Well, let's keep fighting. I don't know. I, I need to reroute all my pieces, I think. And he's just attacking my piece. Yeah. Now the time pressure is coming to me. How'd bro play so quick? Okay, let's just resign. Let's take a look at this. And my, my opponent played with an 88.3. And he just played so quickly. Like, wow. We were slightly... No, white was just slightly better the whole game. I thought we had some pretty good pressure. This is a huge mistake. Why? Supposed to give a check. What's the check do though? Jumps in. Big mistake. We come in, and then this is an even bigger mistake, but then we just blunder. Yeah. I don't know. Bro just like played so quickly. He he must be tilted. He just lost five in a row and then did that. Alright, well let's play second game. We got the white pieces. And we're playing a Sicilian defense. Uh, looks like we're going to get the Grand Prix with the Fianchettoed Bishop. No, they strike in the center. I believe we take, or we just go here, and if they push, we just go check first. Yeah. So we give a check, trade this off, and then put the bit, or the knight back. Let me go knight back, probably push, takes, and then queen comes in. No, they don't go for that. So now we're going to play d3. Otherwise, that d3 move come, becomes very annoying. So go ahead and castle. Honestly, I did not expect that at all. Let's take that. I mean, I don't know what my opponent's thinking. Opening up all those lines. But okay. Honestly, their dark squares are very weak. Why don't we just try to trade the bishop off? Yeah, it just goes back. Now we just keep developing our pieces. I mean, I can go here, and the knight's got to move. But is that really that great? I think it has some merit. Going after the bishop. Now, let's keep the bishop. Maybe this was a not-so-great move. I can just take that. But let's, let's go here with the knight, threaten this pawn. And we probably want to come in this way. Okay, they take. Let's take the pawn while we can. We do have a check here, but I don't think it really does anything right now. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I guess I just go back and then move the king. They're going to win that pawn. No, they don't want the pawn, really. Could have took the pawn, bruh. Maybe. I don't think the pawn's really worth protecting. I think let's try to get active with our pieces. Because I would have to, like, move this, and then this diagonal comes... Or this diagonal comes very weak. Maybe that's the wrong choice. Not so sure. Threatening to come in here with my, my bishop. So threatening to go here which would be threatening the piece. We have the typical Grand Prix kind of attack coming. Hmm. If I go here, he goes here. I go here. Okay, let's restart. If I go here, he goes here. I bring the queen. If he takes, I take. I'm kind of happy because then I just go here. But then he can push and protect laterally. Maybe I come in first and see what he does. Let's bring the queen. This check could be very devastating, but it's not possible right now because of this knight. And if I go here, there's en passant, but then takes. Change the bishop. Feels not so great. But if I give him a move, or anything he can do here, that doesn't work. Let's go here. I think he has to ampassant. And then here. But the knight's going to get to stay unless he takes here. But then I go here. But then he just goes back, right? No, my knight's also protecting that square. So he can't. Like ampassant takes. He can't take because he takes and it's covered. Knight jumps in. Wow, that's actually a good move. I didn't expect. But I think I have check. Has to take. Then I take with the rook. Protecting the rook, because it's under attack. And then we can bring here the rook, potentially. I think we, we probably should have went for the bishop trade first. That's what I'm seeing now. But I mean, this pawn is hanging. I can just take it. So he's probably going to protect that. Yeah. Comes in. So if I go here, then what? Not really threatening anything, am I? Let's pin it up. Can't hurt. Takes, pawn takes, we go here. Oh, did he just walk into a tactic? 
Rook takes, but then he takes here. Ah, uh, okay. That doesn't quite work. Maybe we just come back, attack the pawn, and we're still threatening the tactic. So let's go here. It's just a fork. Oh, he walked right into a fork. Oh, boy. But I can pin him. No, I can't. Yes, I can. I can go here. And then I'd be threatening to win the queen. Oh, ugh. tactics, though. Trying to play quicker this game, because last game, time really bit me in the butt. I mean, I was losing, but at the end of the day... My opponent had like seven minutes and I had one. So now at least it's like five and five. So this is a little bit of a complex position. I'm threatening the pawn. I'm also threatening to take because takes. And then here it's devastating. And he can't take with the queen because I take. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays this though. Trying to set this fork up. Because right now the fork doesn't work due to this. Mm, he wants a queen trade. So I can just take the pawn. I could also just take this. Open up this king. And then take the pawn. I don't see a reason not to just take here. Let's take the pawn. He'll take the queen. I take the queen. Instead of wasting a tempo here. Even though wasting that tempo does open up his king. Maybe we get this check in. No. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's bring the bishop to this diagonal. Goes all the way back. So there's potential sacks. In the position. You need to be very careful here because there's checks. Let's go here. Just where we might be threatening to take this at some point. Pinning this up. Maybe going back was the right choice. Going here. He wants a rook trade. I'm going to say no rook trade. Oh, but if I go here, there's a fork. Big oof. Okay, well, if we're going to trade rooks, let's trade on my turns. Oh, dude, I have to take with the pawn. There's a fork. I'm glad that I noticed that at the last second. Let's keep pushing. We can take the pawn. Oh, Low-key throwing. Yeah, I don't know what I should be doing here. Time is equal. He's probably going to attack the pawn. Is he threatening to take? Takes, takes. I don't really want to pin myself, though. So we're just going into an end game down a piece. I guess pinning myself is not the end of the world. He takes, I take. And then we can go back. Yeah, he can't actually take that. Let's go here. Let's just dominate the, the knight. If the knight moves, then we could win a piece. Let's take the open file. That does allow me to come in with a check. Now if you were to take, it becomes pinned. So now we have an active rook threatening some pawns. So if I go here, he just protects. Well, let's just take pawns now. So this is just pinned pinned up. We should be able to get two connected pass pawns, I think. Two minutes each. Brings the king. Just keep... Just gobble. If he moves, I just take and then take this pawn. Let's take that. Take the pawn. Uh, da, 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 tricky. So I protect. Let's keep our outside pass pawn and then take... We're going to push and then go here. Now he's going to have to bring the king. Now he's going to have to bring the king. Meanwhile, I think I'm going to go here and then bring my king up to attack this pawn. And we should win this pawn in endgame. Mm. If I take that, he takes this, and it would be a draw. Down to a minute each. Okay. Can we not do this? I think we just win now. My opponent blunders, and we win the game. Resignation is there. Let's take a look at the review. I played with a 77. My opponent played with a 68. And this is already a miss. So I should have just... Oh, yeah, it's just a free pawn. What am I doing? dummy okay all this is pretty equal trading was not the right move for him pushing was a bad move and we found out why should just jump there first takes we take that it's actually a miss yeah i mean we probably should have just went here he goes back Going there's the best. This is not the best. I think we should have traded the bishop. Yeah. 
coming in. We pin him. That's a mistake. What was the best move after that? Going there, attacking the knight. Okay. That's a blunder. Should have took. He takes king here. What? Okay. But we go for this. It's supposed to be very brush here. And this is a huge blunder. Because I gave him a fork. Because I gave him a fork. <laughs> And then I almost gave him another fork, but he missed it. Chuck. Yeah, he let me in. This was a big mistake by him. Coming forward, I just eat all the pawns. Then I take and I get that pawn. He was there. We save the pawn. We take a pawn. And pushing draws the game. <laughs> we had to try for a rook trade. And then what? And then we get behind the pass pawn. And then we march the king, maybe. Mistake. I missed something again. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to go after his pawn. Check. Yeah, if we would have taken, this would have been a draw, I think. Yeah. Because he just has takes here. And then I will never promote because his king is so much closer to the, the edge of the board there. And yeah. No matter what happens, we take. This promotes. Roman Zilo of 1750 for me. 1550 for my opponents. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. And let me know if you want to see me play 10 minute chess more often. I know it's a little bit different and fast paced and I make a lot more mistakes, but you know, it's, it's a nice little change.